For three and a half years, these mothers have been trying to get their children back. They were either kidnapped or lured by the PKK into joining the terror group. In September 2019, Kurdish women set up a protest camp outside the office of the pro-PKK HDP party in Turkey's Diyarbakir city. And now for the first time, an international conference has been organized to raise awareness about the PKK terror group and its supporters. And four years ago, when the protest of these proud, courageous, unbelievably strong and powerful mothers started, they went to one place. And uh, I told myself, why exactly do they go there? And then I said, because they know that the political party HDP is basically acting as a kind of people smuggler, at least facilitating that the PKK can do its heinous tricks and lure innocent people literally away from their mothers and fathers and families. Some experts say the kidnapping and exploitation of children by the PKK and its allies is conveniently ignored by many Western countries. And I found out during my research over the years, I was interviewing people about other things, maybe like, like Assyrians in Kamisle, uh, Kurds uh, in Namuda, Kamisle, uh, Ras Al Ain and uh, Afrin. Arabs in Azaz, and then the stories pop up, you know, actually on, on the side. Uh, and I, I heard about it from Dutch diplomats, but uh, now I follow it more close, closer. And um, it's really going on like on, on a weekly basis. We see um, mostly Kurds, but also Yazidi and, and Assyrian uh, minors, uh, 14, 15, 16 year olds being kidnapped. And, one story in particular um, I know from nearby because a Syrian Kurdish friend told me that the daughter of her neighbor uh, was kidnapped and that the, the woman was totally in panic. She was 16 years old um, and she just got one call from her daughter that, that she was okay and she was happy where she was and so and, and that's the only call she ever had. Turkish Interior Minister Suleiman Soylu says 450 families are taking part in the protest. He says so far 38 families have been reunited with their young ones. Turkish officials say many children have been freed from the PKK through intelligence-based operations. They're trying to locate other missing children. Ankara says Western support for PKK-linked groups like YPG threatens not just Turkey's national security, but the welfare of children. Hasan Abdullah, TRT World, Nefshehir.